Happy Dolly Sunday School. Hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. And you're staying cool because it's hot. It's July. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I try to do Dolly Sunday School every Sunday. There's some Sundays where I just can't make it. But I try to come on each Sunday and do Dolly Sunday School. Where I read a devotion and sing a hymn and uh, share God's love with you. Um, I'm here today with little Susie. She's looking gorgeous in her fruit top and little yellow pants, some white shoes, staying cool, and got a little thing of water. Ah. Today I want to read our devotion and then do our hymn. I still need to get a, uh, a little devotional for the dolls. There is, um, one that I was looking at, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, it will come. I want to say uh, thank you all for watching. And I hope that everyone has a happy 4th of July. Okay, have a safe week. I know that in where we are, you can go ahead and pop fireworks. So just stay safe and um, have a wonderful 4th of July. Today, I'm going to read our, devo our devotional. We did Raising Babies last time. Guarding your garden. Look at those big, juicy tomatoes. I ate tomatoes all growing up, especially hot off the vine. I used to take a little salt shaker out to the garden and take a bite and sprinkle salt with every bite. And enjoyed tomatoes all the time and now I'm in my late 20s and I've got a tomato problem uh, if I eat tomatoes I suffer from GERD and it's awful so uh, I love tomatoes but they don't like me for some reason Proverbs 423 above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it at first, it's all fun and games as you walk through the garden center to pick out the perfect plants before lovingly placing them in the ground. Visions of fresh strawberries and tomatoes dance in your head as you parade through your garden with your brand new watering can and post pictures on social media. It's easy to be diligent when spring breezes are blowing and everything is fresh and new. But there comes a point when gardening is no longer the enjoyment it once was. The sun beats down and the bees buzz. It's time for the hard work of ensuring that your garden isn't overrun by pests and devoured by critters. It's easy to become a little less enthusiastic and diligent until one morning you awake to find that a rabbit has helped itself to all your tomato plants. It's then you realize that you didn't properly guard your garden. Sometimes we guard our hearts like an amateur gardener. We are diligent for a while, spending time in the Word and posting our favorite Bible verses on our social media accounts. We're quick to share the latest and greatest thing and hashtag blessed. Eventually, however, guarding our hearts becomes real work. The enemy attempts to distract us with shiny things. Friends don't share our convictions and friction develops as we are bombarded with ungodly messages and negativity. Self-discipline becomes difficult. All of these things seek to draw our hearts away from God. Our lives reflect the condition of our hearts. If our hearts aren't fed and watered daily with the word of God and prayer, we may just awaken to find that the enemy has helped himself to the fruits of our joy and peace. Lord, give me wisdom regarding what I do and don't and do not allow to enter my heart. Lord, give me, let me start that over. Lord, give me the wisdom regarding what I do and do not allow to enter my heart. 
Help me be diligently maintaining my relationship with you. May the fruit of my life be proof that my heart belongs to you. And friends, that is so true. Staying in the word, staying with our heart and tuned with our relationship with God. We are not perfect. I am not. I am not in my Bible every day like I should be. And that is something I desire and long for. And I know when I stay away from the word and I keep putting it off and putting it off, that time, that precious time of God, I grow more uncontent in my life. I get frustrated easier. So I know how hard um, it can be to make excuses. But spending that time with God in prayer and in His Word, get a good devotional, get the YouVersion Bible app. It's on your phone. You can get the YouVersion Bible app. There's tons of devotionals. You can read your Bible in any translation that is um, speaks to you the best and uh, it can be read to you that's a great tool and my husband and I used it at the be beginning of our marriage we did Bible time every night and uh, we want to get back to that and we need to get back to that and you know what I'm, I'm going to get back to it tonight I'm done putting, putting off excuses um, that we are not living in a time where we can put off excuses for this guard your hearts water and feed your soul with the word of God and seek a relationship with him this life is temporary you ever hear that song this is my temporary home it's not where I belong the windows and rooms that I'm passing through this is just a stop on the way to where I'm going I'm not afraid because I know this is my temporary home. And that is true. Get in your Bibles. This one's a little bit hard for me, the King James Version. Although it's um, one of the better translations, the thou and they and all that. I get... I get distracted in this one so find a translation that works for you i highly highly suggest the you version bible app um you can pick your translation they have things called plans which are devotionals and your phone reminds you each day for uh to read your devotional um i'm doing a great one on forgiving um i'm i'm learning in this season of my life to forgive past hurts and childhood trauma that's always hard to do but that's what I'm learning anyway um, remember I'm not a perfect person either even though I do Dolly Sunday School I am not perfect and I mess up daily and I sin daily and but I want to shine this light and encourage others to do you know to, to have a relationship with God because it's the most precious thing in my life and I, I, the best thing I could do is share it with you. Not for my name's sake, but for his. To shine a light for him. I'm going to be busy in the coming weeks. So, I'm going to try to do Dolly Sunday School next Sunday. But if I don't, don't be alarmed if I miss Dolly Sunday School. There's going to be times where Dolly Sunday School um, will be missed, and I am sorry for that. I will do everything I can to come on here. Um, but there's just some things life gets in the way. This takes time out of every Sunday, you know, and Sundays are my busiest time, and especially these next couple weeks. They're going to be pretty busy. I want you to pray for me. I put in an application for a ch children's camp, a children's Christian camp, um, they were looking for some counselors for their upcoming girls retreat and uh, I hope that uh, I get that I get to be called to that and I'm praying but the application got me a little worried but uh, yeah uh, be praying for that um, hoping good things come from that I really excited I went to church camp all during the summer and you know I didn't come from a uh, 
I didn't come from a Christian home. I came from a home filled with abuse and hurt. And um, church camp was my way to escape that. And I went to as many as I could during the summer through our church, through gracious donation do donators that paid for campers that, you know, couldn't afford to go to camp. They paid the way. And so I was able to go to camp all during the summer and get out of my home life and um, I got loved on by counselors and my foundation of faith was laid and through a church camp and I just I want to go do that too I want to go uh, shine some light to some kids and help them lay down the foundation and guide them and I would love for that. So be praying for that. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come, you know. Uh, God will open another volunteer opportunity, I'm sure. But I'm really hoping that that will come through. Anyway, so I will be busy if that comes through. Okay, let me sing uh, today's hymn. I'm going to do Come Thou Front of Every Blessing. And if you know, sing along with me. Come thou front of every blessing To my heart to sing thy grace Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melody song it sung by flaming tons above. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of the redeeming love. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna. I itched my eye in the middle of that and got off tune. Oh, my eyes are itchy lately. It's dry. It's hot. I want to sing another one. Let me see. Oh, uh, what song? Oh, look, the Lily of the Valley. That's always a good one. Let's sing it. It's a, it's a, it's a. I've sung it before, but let's sing it again. I have found a friend in Jesus, he's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He's the lily of the valley, and him alone I s Where am I at? Let me start that over. I have found a friend in Jesus, he's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I don't have the best singing voice and the best following. <laughs> one of my favorites is What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Let's do that one. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege is to carry everything to God in prayer. Ha oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Anyway, <laughs> there's my Baptist hymnal. I'm so thankful that my church allowed me to borrow that. 
Uh, they have lots and they let me take one home and so I can use it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you go now. Have a good rest of your day. God bless you all. I hope you enjoyed seeing little Susie. Susie girl. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go spend some time with my hubby now. All right. God bless you all. Bye-bye.